the cease and desist that Lenovo issued to Framework, the laptop company that I invested in, over their power button. I admit I debated you guys a little bit. I actually agree with Lenovo. This was this was a thing. The way that did you say you didn't? Had to happen. Well, okay, I guess I didn't, but the the implication might be that I'm like mad about it, but there's right. nothing to really be mad about. It looks pretty innocent. It doesn't look like it was something they planned to do. It looks like a very reasonable design. If you're making a plastic thing that needs to continue working and also needs to be moved. Yep. Um, uh, obviously, it's not their logo because you can't 3D print their logo without the centerpiece falling through. But yeah. the reason that Lenovo came after them, Framework tweeted about it, is that the resemblance of Framework's power button on their first party 3D printed case um, to the Lenovo O Legion design is unmistakable. That's what we call in the biz and oops, my bad. <laughs> yeah, and they're and they're already working on it. They they asked for like community contests, uh, which is a kind of a cool idea where people can submit designs, and whoever can come up with the best design is going to get a free uh, i5 1135G7 mainboard, which is cool. It was noted by a uh, forum member Midcore that Lenovo's gaming le uh, O Legion gaming logo used to actually look like this. But that's the one I kind of remember. It bore a lot of resemblance uh, to the Mercedes Benz logo. Uh, <laughs> so, as it turns out, there's just not a whole lot more ways that you can put some things through or on a circle. Actually, oh, am I? I'm wearing it right now. I happen to be wearing our case shirt design that has been pointed out to me looks an awful lot like the Renault logo, oh, like Renault cars. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, not I intentional. See it. No association whatsoever. It just happens to be a what? What is it? Isometric view of a box. It's it's, it's a computer case. <laughs> it, it wasn't the intention, but yeah. that's what that's what happens. And given the fact that Lenovo and Framework do exist within the same space, they both make laptops. Say, for example, I can understand why Lenovo, whether they wanted to or not, had to point out that their trademark was kind of being infringed and you guys really need to make a slightly different looking power button. Yeah, so as much fine. as as much as I don't think anyone wanted this to happen, I actually agree with Lenovo's cease and desist. Clearly framework isn't too salty about it either. So they are figuring this out. Now our discussion topic here from Adam from our writing team is why do companies waste time and money on things like this? And they really the, sort of have to. The reason is that they actually have to. If they want to keep their trademark, then they have to uphold their trademark yeah. and they have to go after anyone who is illegitimately using their trademark. And this isn't one of those things where Lenovo tried to trademark an actual circle or, you know, putting the letter I in a word. This is this very clearly a logo design and very clearly looked pretty much identical to the one that Framework was it using is a, for the power button. It, it, I do agree with all that. It is a little annoying because like I said earlier, that design is very logical for making like a piece of plastic that would depress down into a button. Yes. So and it wasn't being like a logo on the product. Yeah. It it's was a literally functional... just a functional piece. Um, so that that part is pretty annoying to me, but I do agree with the things that Linus said. Uh, you can use it in in court cases. You can say like, oh, well, they haven't defended this before. So there was precedent set that they wouldn't defend this in the future. And people have won cases based off that. Yeah. So you actually do need to like defend these things. It's just, again, like this, I could see this being annoying for 3D printers that are trying to commercialize certain products. Oh, for sure. But then again, if you're not trying to make an enclosure for a laptop motherboard, maybe they won't go after Then you. they probably don't have to defend it because you. Uh, it's I, enough I, removed. I, I believe. Something. Yeah, I believe we're, that's we're getting how it into works. things that we don't necessarily. Uh, dabble with too yeah, much. Yeah, I'm not but... an expert, but I do know enough to know that they, they do actually need to go after this. Yeah. 